Python is one of the most widely used programming languages in industry. To this lecture on numbers in Python. And Coursera is really good because they're offering university students free courses up until September the 30th. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you some online courses that can help kickstart your journey into coding. The programming language of choice that I've chosen is Python. The reason I chose Python is because I believe it is one of the most sought out programming languages in the world. Python is one of the most widely used programming languages in industry. It's a powerful general purpose language with applications ranging from web development to data science. Some of the online resources that I have chosen are Code First Girls, Udacity, Udemy, and Coursera. Some of you guys may be wondering, why should I consider a career in tech? Why should I learn how to code? Why should I learn how to program? Have you seen the graduate job economy? Particularly in this pandemic, the graduate job economy right now is so tight. And I guarantee if you go to a graduate job website like Grads Cracker, Target Jobs, Debut, all of those wonderful graduate apps and websites, you will see there's going to be so many job roles within tech. Some of these job roles include software developer, software engineer, full stack developer, front end developer, back end developer, UX, UI designer, so many job roles in tech. And let me tell you something, tech roles tend to be very well paid. Some of the best starting salaries that I've seen is £120,000 at a fintech startup. Obviously, that's a bit of a long shot and probably most of us aren't going to be earning that much money when we start learning how to code. However, I hope it inspires you to learn how to code and be the best programmer in the whole world. So yeah, if you guys want to know more about the different courses that can help you learn how to code in Python, then watch this video. Okay, guys, so the first website I'm going to show you is Coursera. And Coursera is really good because they're offering university students free courses up until September the 30th. So this is the course that I'm prescribed onto. So I've chosen the Python 3 programming um, course by University of Michigan, and it's really, really good. So I'm going to show you a bit of a sample so that you guys can see what kind of lectures and videos the course entails. It'll tell us that this is an int. And then here, if we don't call the type function, we get the value itself. But if we type, print out the type of 3.2. OK, so that's the first um, course website. And I'm going to show you the next one, which is Udacity. OK, so the next free online resource is Udacity, and it is the introduction to Python programming. I really, really like Udacity because it explains things really, really clearly. And it's good for those people who are beginners. So we're going to go on start free course um, and yeah. So as you can see, I'm already on lesson four, but I'm going to show you what lesson one is like. Python is one of the most widely used programming languages in industry. It's a powerful general purpose language with applications ranging from web development to data science. Well then, I hope you guys can see why I like Udacity and it's free just to say. Right, so the next one isn't actually free. I did pay £13.99 for this course, but I have to say, investing in your education, you can't lose out. Investing in advancing your knowledge, your wisdom, your education, your skill set is money that is not wasted. And I have to say, it is worth the investment. You might find when you go onto Udemy and you type this course, you might be charged £200. And I wouldn't pay £200, I'm not going to lie to you. What you have to do is you actually have to try finding this course on Udemy on different browsers because different browsers give you different prices. So I found that on one browser it gave me £13.99 and then on another browser it gave me £200. So don't be spending £200. You can get this course for £13.99. You might just have to try it on different browsers when you want to buy this course. But also another way of getting around that is to search Udemy 
um, course sale or Udemy, discount prices or Udemy um, student offers. And then it hopefully should display this course as £13.99. Do not be paying £200. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to this lecture on numbers in Python. We already briefly mentioned that there's two main number types that we're going to be working with throughout the course, and that is integers, which are whole numbers, and floating point numbers, which are numbers of a decimal. As you can see, this seems to be really, really good, and I have to say I really enjoy using this course. Even though I did pay for it, I think it was definitely worth the investment. The next course is strictly only for women and girls. This is the website that I actually use to help kickstart my career into tech. It took eight weeks and we learn about HTML, CSS and basic basic principles of learning how to develop a website. But this definitely helped kickstart my career into tech. It gave my CV a little bit of clout a little bit of tech clout so when they ask you what have you done to know more about technology you can be like well i did the code first girls introduction to web development course and i obtained a certificate afterwards this is a great way to gain a certificate and add clout to your cv okay so this is the one that i signed up for initially which is the introduction to web development i really enjoyed this course it is a bit of hard work because you do have to do some extra research, some extra learning and support your studies with YouTube videos and tutorials and online courses, but it's a great way to gain a certification. The other one that they have is Introduction to Python Programming. Again, this is fantastic. If you were to do this, Introduction to Python Programming, these are um, online virtual classes where you're taught by a tutor and a demonstrator. There's like 20 or 30 of you. Um, and you do this every week for two hours. Now imagine doing this with your Udacity or your Udemy or your Coursera online courses. You're gonna be you're gonna be flying when it comes to programming in Python. So yeah, General Assembly is another really good website to access online courses. The thing I really like about General Assembly is that they give these two hour intensive lessons, courses, lectures and seminars on different aspects of technology. So not just Python. So as you can see, you have free intro to UX design class, intro to digital marketing class, UX design again, data analytics. So these courses allow you to have an introductory view, introductory knowledge and insight into what different types of tech roles may entail. So yeah, I really hope you like this and I hope that you guys will join me on my tech journey.